Anything that you get now that has anything at all to do with China, get it, ladies and gentlemen. If you can, stock up on it and put it away. Because I believe, like I've stated before, that eventually China is going to cut us off. The reason that I do these videos is not to show off what I'm getting, but to show you what I got. That way it can maybe build up your creative juices and you can maybe say, oh, wait a minute. That's something that I really do need that I just never thought of. Almost every single payday prep video that I do, someone comments, wow, I didn't even think about that. I need to get some of those. Hello, YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another payday prep. And there's a few things that I've been waiting on for a while, actually, and I finally got them. And then there's also another couple of things that I have on subscription with Amazon, something that we use on a regular basis. Uh, so I'm going to show you those as well, as well as some things that you may not be thinking about that you may need in the future, right? Remember, prepping is not about what you need now in the now. It's things that you're going to need later on. You might as well get them now if you can. That way you know that you have them instead of having to look for it when you actually need them. So first, let me start off with this. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I am trying this little speaker thing out. That way I don't have to yell. Let me know if the audio comes out all right to your satisfaction or not. It's just a little cheaper. I think it costs like 15 bucks, but I don't know anything about this. So let me know if the audio is coming out to your satisfaction. These potatoes, ladies and gentlemen, is a great alternative to the one that we used to use before. I forget their name, but they're awesome potato flakes. And we used to get them at Costco, but they discontinued them. So we started using these for mainly one reason, because the ingredients, as you can see, is just dehydrated potatoes. So there's nothing added to it or anything like that. It's just that the water is taken away from it. And this should store for a really long time. Now, in our pantry, we already got a couple of cases of these, which is four to a case. So the ones that I have now, I'll probably end up saving up a couple of more cases next month when they come in and putting them in a five-gallon Mylar bag. That way we can store them away for long term. Potato flakes will pretty much last indefinite, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a very dry product. So it should last a very long time if properly stored. Now, I've been waiting on this for about a month. This is the suspended ibuprofen pain reliever. I can't find it anymore. Whenever we go to Costco's, usually I, I would pick up a couple of these, uh, their brand, the brand that they sell. This is Amazon Basics. But ladies and gentlemen, you know that almost all of our medication comes from where? That's right. It comes from China. So it doesn't really matter where you get it. But I got enough of this stuff this time around to last us at least a good year to two years, depending on how often we need to use it. But I got plenty to last us a couple of years. And this is actually not a bad deal. I think these, these are the eight ounce size, which is a great size. And these were about $7 a piece. Right? So we ended up getting 10 of these to make sure that we have plenty to get us through the next couple of years. Anything that you get now that has anything at all to do with China, get it, ladies and gentlemen. If you can, stock up on it and put it away. Because I believe, like I've stated before, that eventually China is going to cut us off. And or if they don't cut us off, it's going to be a lot more expensive for us to import from China. Our dollar may be strong right now, but it's just part of a cycle. Eventually, it is going to come back down because whatever goes up naturally will come back down and we will enter that cycle sooner than later, in my opinion. We have to take care of the kitty cats, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have two especially. So we do have this on subscription and about every month or so we get a couple of these in, in the mail. And uh, Miss Kitty Cat and Lucy as well now. Well, Lucy doesn't really eat these yet. She's still just a little kitten. But Miss Kitty Cat doesn't even go through a pack of these a month. This is more of a treat. And at any one time, we only have about, I would say, anywhere between four to six months worth if we stopped getting them right now and didn't get any more. So I think this is a great way to keep, you know, cat food and even dog food stored for medium range to longer term. I don't like to keep that much pet food because I had a bad experience with dog food at one time. So I figured that if worse comes to worse and we run out of all the dog food and all the cat food that there is, guess what they're going to be eating? That's right. They're going to be eating our leftovers. Now, many of you will remember that I did a video not too long ago reviewing the Mac 4 first aid kit from Refuge Medical. It's really a casualty first aid kit. And in that pack, they had stop bleed, but they had the gauze that would allow you to stop bleeding, especially hemorrhaging, really. Those gauzes are awesome. But I thought that I would get some of these for smaller cuts. 
We've all had those little cuts that won't stop bleeding. I figured I'd add a couple of these or a box of these to each of our vehicles to their actual just first aid kit. In addition to the Mac 4 that we put in, in our both daily driving vehicles, we also have just a basic first aid kit that just has like band-aids and things like that. And that's what this is going to be going with, right? So this is a great idea to have. Have some up on hand all the time. And ask Billy. I've never really had to use these, but ask Billy from Frontier Preppers that this works really, really well. And again, ladies and gentlemen, think about those things that you know you're going to need that are not made here in the United States. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to need them, you're going to need it. Right? It doesn't matter where it's made. And I'm pretty sure, yep, this is made in China. Right? But what this is, is just a fan speed adjuster. Right? So I have a fan that takes the air out of my attic during the winter. That way there's no condensation that accumulates, but it runs at 60 watts. And at 60 watts, it pulls out a lot of CFM, all right, cubic feet per minute. It pulls out, I think it's like six or 700. And the attic is only, you know, the space in the attic is only probably about 180, maybe 200 uh, cubic feet. It's really not that much. So that 60 watts that is using on a continuous basis, because I leave it on from the time that it starts being below 32 degrees all the time to when it starts being above 32 degrees all the time. So I leave that fan on probably a good six months out of the year. And I feel that it's going to work a lot better or a lot more efficient running at about half speed instead of running at 60 watts and believe it or not over 24 hours a day for six months straight that 30 watts that i'll be saving with this is going to more than pay for this right here just in the electricity usage so i went ahead and picked one of these up and i will be installing this before winter there's not really that much installation to this it's just a matter of plugging the fan in here and then plugging this into an outlet too easy now, I know that I'm going to be needing this for next year. This is the fabric that you put on the ground to make sure that nothing grows up under it. And uh, what I'm going to be using this for next year is to put under the floor of my chicken coop. And guess what? It's like I've always said, I know I'm going to need it next year. So guess what? They have it now. So I grab me a roll now, which should be plenty for what I'm going to need when I do that chicken coop. Another thing that I got is, you all know that I'm addicted to flashlights, ladies and gentlemen. And this winter, when it gets really dark outside, where it's dark out for a lot of hours, I'm going to compile all of the flashlights that I've, that I've acquired here in the last six months to a year or so. And I'm going to do a review of all of those flashlights in one video. That way you can see the difference between the ones that are less expensive and more expensive and the quality and all of that kind of stuff. So I noticed that they had this, I believe this was at Lowe's that they had these so I picked them up I've never heard of this brand and it's 450 lumen looks like a pretty decent brand and guess what it's made in China that's right <laughs> made in China but it looks like a pretty decent brand so I thought I'd pick it up I think it was only like 20 bucks so not bad about mid-range as far as the price goes I use a heater that's just like this right here to heat my bunker and it's one of those little radiator heaters I went ahead and switched to that from the fan heater that I was heating it with before because this has a more stable heat source. And these were on sale. They were like 50 bucks or something like that when I picked them up. So I picked up two. This one's gonna be going under the tent and the one that I have in the bunker now is actually doing its job right now. Redundancy, in my opinion, it's very important. So if you're able to, those things that are very important to you, make sure that you have a backup to your backup to your backup. I always like to say that one is none, Two is one, but I'll tell you what, 27 is a lot better. Now, I'm going to have to hurry it up because it's starting to rain for some reason or another. But do you have any brake fluid for your vehicles in case you need them? My Toyota Tundra, my Alaska Prepper Homestead vehicle, that's what I like to call it. Uh, that thing's going to get its rear rotors changed here in about another two weeks or so. I went ahead and got some extra brake fluid just in case they need to be bled out. And I can have them put in the one that I want, the one that's all synthetic. But it's always a good idea, ladies and gentlemen, to have an extra bottle around. You just never know, especially something like this that is so important to the safety of your vehicle. Do you have extra oil? Do you have extra wiper blades? Do you have extra belts, you know, like serpentine belts? Someone told me once that it's not a good idea to store serpentine belts for a long time because they'll crack. But I tell you what, I've had a set of serpentine belts for my truck, for my uh, Toyota, not Toyota Tundra, for my Suburban. It's like five years old and it doesn't have one crack on it. I believe it's in how you store it. If you keep it out of sunlight and you keep it in, in an environment where there's no rodents or anything like that, 
in my opinion, is going to last. I also stocked up on this. Now, this right here is what I use to put in my heating fuel, right? So my heating oil. And what this does is, is this eliminates any water whatsoever that's in your heating oil. And also it allows it to burn a little bit hotter, making your heater more efficient, all right? Now, these are actually a little pricey. I was surprised. They're like 12 bucks a piece. But one of these will treat, I believe it's about 250 to 300 gallons. So that's not a bad deal. And it will keep your heater running a little more efficient and a lot cleaner in the inside. So are you thinking about things like this, about peripherals, about additives that you need for your heating system, whatever it may be in your home. Are you thinking about these things, about putting things like this away? Now, if you all watched the video where I went and visited that True Value hardware store, the only one that there is in Fairbanks, Alaska, you all saw that I was interested in getting a few things. And a couple of the things that I got there are just really cool things. But most of the things that I got there while I was there are things that I'm glad they had that I saw because I definitely know that I'm gonna be able to use these things. Now, one of the things that I didn't have to get, but I think is really cool is this. When's the last time you saw one of these little oil cans, right? So you put your oil in there and then you go ahead and squeeze it and put oil wherever it is that you want. You know, never know, ladies and gentlemen, there could come a day where those luxury spray cans that we have that have oil in it, like the WD-40, where they may not be available, and you'll have to resort to using something like this, like our grandparents used to use. Plus, I just think this is such a cool little thing that I'm going to put it in my fuel depot, and if I ever need it, it'll be there. But just looking at it, I think it's really cool. And guess what? Look at this. Made in the U.S. of A. Isn't that awesome? Now, something that I did go there for is a backup pump for my fuel. So this here is a fuel transfer pump that works off of 12 volt that you hook up a hose to it and it will transfer your fuel up to 35 feet. So it's got up to 35 feet worth of suction that, that you can get your fuel from one tank to another. And this is definitely something that I want to have a backup for. Very important. Now, the fuel pump that I use now is a pretty expensive fuel pump. This only cost me like 80 bucks, but it's definitely well worth it. The fuel pump that I have now is similar to a fuel pump that you use at a gas station. It has a handle and everything, and it pumps really well, and it works off of AC instead of DC. All right. But, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important up here that we get our fuel when we need our fuel. So I was like, you know what? A backup for my fuel pump is something that I hadn't really thought about but now I have it. And it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, is taking control over those things that you lose control of. So for example, what if my primary fuel pump fails? Is there anything that I can do about that? Zero, nothing that I can do about that if it fails. If it's gonna fail, it's gonna fail. But the question is, are you prepared in case it does fail? Now I know that they sell small buckets like this at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I did purchase this at True Value. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't watched that video, go check that video out. That is such an awesome store. I, I was like a kid in a candy shop when I was going through that store. It was so awesome. But what I'm gonna do with these buckets, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm waiting for something to come in the mail and I'm gonna use these buckets for that. So there will be a video on this coming up but i've been waiting on this item to come in for about the last week and a half or so but when it comes in you'll see these buckets again i've got the ocean spray cranberry sauce that one of you sent me about a year and a half two years ago and i've got plenty left but i picked up a couple of these just to show you all i remember telling you a while back that yesterday's regular prices are going to be today's sale prices all right ladies and gentlemen and this ladies and gentlemen is the store brand that sells at the same price that the Ocean Spray brand used to sell at last year, about a dollar sixty and change. I think it was like a buck sixty-three, and that's what the Ocean Spray brand used to sell for last year. Well, and this last year used to sell for like a dollar twenty something. Well, this year this sells for a dollar sixty something, and the Ocean Spray brand sells for two dollars and I think thirty-nine cents. This year's regular prices, ladies and gentlemen. Mark my word, will be next year's sale prices. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is just something that I picked up at the True Value store that I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this year, before winter especially. Uh, so I only picked one. It's not something that I use on a regular basis at all. 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is an awesome shovel. I've been looking for a shovel like this for a while. And either I just didn't see it whenever I went to like Lowe's or Home Depot, or ju they just don't have it. But I'm glad that I got this at True Value because this shovel is actually made here in the U.S. of A. And I'll tell you what, this right here is a lot better than those plastic ones. I've broken at least five or six plastic ones in the last couple, three years or so. I know last winter for sure, we went through two plastic ones. This right here, this will last a really long time or at least as long as this handle will last you. But if you use it for snow, it should last you pretty much forever. I'm really excited about getting this. I might have to go back there and pick up another one. So this is an awesome, awesome prep to have. And to go along with my fuel pump, I went ahead and picked up enough hose to reach as far as I needed to reach. I have about a 20 foot span that I need to reach from where my fuel is to where my tank is, my actual tank that goes into my house. And I went ahead and picked this up. Uh, if you're going to get hose for, for a winter location where it gets really, really cold, try to get this kind right here. Right, it still gets hard and stiff, but this keeps it from like breaking, right? Where your other one can actually break. At least that's the experience I've had with holes like this. The one that's a little bit cheaper, eventually that thing will probably break on you. So spend the extra money and get something like this. This wasn't too bad, this was only like a dollar fifty a foot, which I think is a pretty good deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this payday prep. Thank you very much for joining in. I hope you got some ideas from some of the things that I got. For those of you that are new here, if you're still here at this part of the video, the reason that I do these videos is not to show off what I'm getting, but to show you what I got. That way it can maybe build up your creative juices and you can maybe say, oh, wait a minute, that's something that I really do need that I just never thought of. That is why I do it, to give you ideas and also to help you maybe remember something that you forgot that you just haven't been thinking about and now you saw it and now you're like, yep, I definitely need to get that. Almost every single payday prep video that I do, someone comments, wow, I didn't even think about that. I need to get some of those. So that's why I do these videos, ladies and gentlemen. Having said that, have a great day. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I got to go play with the puppy now. She's been bugging me and giving me the eye the whole time. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out. God bless.